Hey, what's up? Life Ball Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2005 drama comedy film, The Family Stone. So this stars Luke Wilson, Rachel McAdams, Diane Keaton's in this, uh, Sarah, Sarah, no, Sarah Jessica Parker. There we go. So many, so many people are in this film. This is, this is a big cast of, of characters. So you have the two matriarch and patriarch of the Stone family, right? And then they have five kids. So there's three brothers and two sisters. And either their families, their significant others, their spouses. Um, it's just, it surprised me. It, it surprised me. I knew this existed. I, I purchased this last year, actually, in a sale, voodoo sale. And um, I knew it was going to be on my list for 2023 Christmas season. And I never saw it. I knew it existed. I knew it, it was heavily casted. I know I love everybody in the cast. And I just didn't know the character development. I didn't know that there was the token gay deaf brother with his... I mean, now, I, I don't... They couldn't have gotten married back in 05. Um, I would hope they're married now. Um, talking about adopting a kid and, and starting that life. But then the main main premise of the film is that one of the brothers, Everett, is bringing home his, his girlfriend, uh, Meredith, who's very uptight and very conservative. And there's this whole, like, racism thing. There's this whole bigotry thing. There's this whole anti, like... People with disabilities thing. It was it was a it was a rough Christmas Eve conversation, and then there was the explosion of the family, and then things changed, and conversations were had, and learning to love and appreciate and accept and celebrate was a part of that, and it was very well done because it was just such an awkward and like oh I did not know we were going here kind of a thing. It was. It was a very interesting conversation starter with in regards to the five main siblings, the two parents, and then, you know, the rest of the kin, if you will. Having the will they, won't they bit throughout, having Meredith's sister come in, you know, to save her, but not really save her. Having Rachel's character of Amy reconnect with Lomo's boyfriend because of Meredith's character meddling. It was just very well splice together the different personalities the different character aspects of these individuals within the stone family within outside of the stone family and to then have the other subplot within regards to this is the mom's last christmas because she has breast cancer again but it's not specifically stated it's there's so much inference in this film and normally i don't like inference but this worked so well within regards to storytelling that it's inferred that she has breast cancer because she reveals a mastectomy scar. And unless you don't, unless you know things of medical field, you're not really going to put those pieces together. But inferring, because I know those pieces, and then having the flash forward of a year later, because there's no longer that matriarch, it was, it was, uh, Diane Keaton does a great job. I saw some, some comment on a review at one point for this, that Diane Keaton does a great do job mixing humor with heartbreak. And I could not put wor better words to that because she was the driving force between the humor and heartbreak within this film. And it worked so well. It was so well balanced. It's so hard to do that. It's so hard to do comedy and drama within something where some parts I'm laughing out loud and other points I'm literally getting teary eyed because there's actors literally shedding tears, like actual tears, not like fake put the onion stick under the eye kind of thing to get all misty eyed the literal tears coming out of their eyes. It was rough, but it was incredible. It surprised me. It really surprised me. That's why I love Christmas films, because you never know <laughs> what's going to happen for a film you've never seen before, for a film you don't know the premise of, for a film you don't know the trailer about. When you watch something, and I've talked about this many a times, you know, with past reviews. When you watch something because somebody's in it that you like, you like a certain actor, you like a certain actress, you like their looks, you like their aesthetic, you also like the way that they work, you like their talent, their reaction of acting. That's all acting is, reacting, right? It's interesting watching a property because somebody's in it, and you don't know if you're going to like it or not, but the only reason you're watching it is because somebody's in it. This is a chock full stock, massively stock filled cast. And I watched it because it's a Christmas film. Not because anyone in particular is in it, 
as I've done previously for other reviews. I watched this because it's a Christmas film. It was on my list. We're getting through it. We watched it. It surprised the hell out of me. I will definitely be watching this many years to come. And it's hard not to look at my own Christmas tree the same anymore. Specifically that end scene of putting the mom's final ornament on the tree and getting choked up and seeing her picture behind. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So many memories now. And I'm staring at my tree after the movie and the credits are rolling. And there I am in tears. And I'm reminiscing of past Christmases of, a ch of being a child with, you know, my brother opening gifts in front of past relatives, trees who are no longer with us and things of that nature. And it got me worked up. I got very emotional. I'm getting misty eyed right now. I did not expect for this to be as heartfelt and deep as it actually was. Did not expect to see another side of a tree, which was really cool. But that's the beauty of this hybrid holiday that I've been praising for so many years now. So many different aspects of the different cultures meddling together to create this one specific holiday all have different meanings to it. And to throw another meaning into the mix, to throw another, I'm not going to look at a Christmas tree ever the same again, without memories of past happy nostalgia greatness, it's just really cool. It's really cool seeing that. It's really cool appreciating that. It's really cool understanding that. This was very well done. This would have been a great book. Bro, this would have been such an incredible novel. Was this a novel? I don't think this was a novel. This would have been an incredible novel. Whoever wrote this, I think the writer is also the director of this film. Whoever you are, uh, I would like this as a novel. Yes, please and thank you. I was trying to think of other words. Couldn't get them out. Anyway, 2005, Family Stone. Absolutely incredible Christmas film. Incredible film in general. On to the next review. Much mahalo.